So go ahead and click on the first link below this video and that will bring you over here where you can sign up for a new Bybit account by entering your email address and set a password for yourself. Make sure this referral code is showing up if you want to get the $20 welcome bonus. The referral code is 116104. I'll also leave this in the description and with all of this in place, you can just go ahead and click on get my welcome gifts. Just complete this puzzle. Bybit will send a verification code to your email. So just get the code and add it right here. And as simple as that, you've successfully created your brand new Bybit account. You can also go ahead and install the app from the Play Store or the App Store and then log in with the same email and password you used when signing up. The next step is to complete your KYC verification before you can start trading on Bybit. So once you log into the app, the first notification you will see is to complete the verification. You can just click on verify now. You will see this option for proof of identity. So click verify. For the verification, you can either use your BVN, national ID, driver's license, or passport. I think the easiest method is to use your BVN, and that's actually the option Bybit is recommending right here. So you can select BVN and click confirm. Click continue. Here, just go ahead and enter your BVN and your last name, then hit continue again. The next step is where you need to do a live selfie verification. For this to work, you need to make sure that your face is clearly visible. If you follow all these steps and you enter the correct information, it is going to take just a few minutes for Bybit to review and approve your account. And once your account is approved, you are ready to start trading cryptocurrencies on Bybit. So let's go over to our Bybit account. The first thing I want you to do is to make sure that your account is safe. That way you are protecting your assets in the future. So click on the account icon at the top left corner, then click on settings. Here, go to security and you see your security level at the top here. My security level is high, which is what you want ideally. And you can achieve that by adding your phone number. You should also enable Google two-factor authentication. That's very important. You just need the Google 2FA app on your phone and you can easily set that up. 